All right, y'all. So next up, we're going to get into the most recent episode of Insecure. Oh, yeah, we are. Let's just get straight to it. Molly was out of pocket. Ooh. Uh, mm. Trevor. I don't know. I feel like with everybody I've been talking to about Insecure, I feel like I'm like Molly's attorney. Even though she's an attorney, I feel like I'm her attorney. It's because you low-key like Molly a lot. I f- I, I, I see her journey throughout, you know, the, the years that Insecure has been on the air. She's been, she's, she's, there's growth. And she's been through a lot. Whatever. She's put herself through a lot, but she's also been through a lot. Trev, listen, here's where Molly is wrong. This is the only place where Molly is wrong. I'm okay. going to get straight to it. Where she said, F you, Andrew, get your effing brother. Mm-hmm. That's where she was wrong. You're right. You shouldn't say that. I'm dating you. This is your family. I'm not going to disrespect your family like this. I'm gonna tell you. I'm gonna tell you, brother. Shut up. Yo, you're tweaking. Yo, I'm out of here. That's fine. But a f you, that hits a little different. It Those does. are words we can't get back. It stings a little bit. I'm gonna remember that you stung me. Was I tweaking? Yeah, for sure. But I'm gonna remember that you flew off the handles and you cussed me out. And that's just not a good. I just don't think that's healthy for um, the dynamic between in laws. If it was to get to that point, or even just like, hey, we're on a the rest of this vacation together. I could never picture being with somebody and looking at their brother or their uncle or their dad or whoever and like saying what Molly said. No, I'm not disrespecting like no I, I couldn't, types of family. I'm not disrespecting I, I, your best I friend do like that. that. Um, exactly. I might tell you, I might tell you That's what I was side. thinking too. Like once they got back to the room, Molly could have just like let off all his steam on Andrew instead of like in front of his brother and his wife. You're right. Molly fucked up in that, in that situation. Like her, like, like, cause my thing is like control what you can't control. He, the brother was a dick. Yes, this he is. is who he is. Yeah, he's an asshole. And we knew that going into it because that, like, Andrew kind of like was like, "Yo, my brother's a little different. My brother's a little weird. He's a mm-hmm. little controlling." So like, Andrew already prepped this, and Andrew's already used to how his brother gives it up. But Molly on the outside looking in just has to be like, "Yo, like, I gotta talk to you. Your brother tweet. What else was there in the episode? The Facetime." Which FaceTime with who? Nathan and Andrew with the FaceTime. I th- and oh, yeah, and East is in the background. So, what I think about is interesting about that. Like, I think knowing it's not being sus. I don't think this is a sus move at all. But I think it's very, very important that, like, you should establish to the person on the other end of the line who you're with, who can hear you. What do you mean? So, for example. So if, so if, uh, so if Nathan is FaceTiming Andrew... He needs he needs to do it in a way where like I know that Andrew's on vacation with Molly, and I also that Molly and Issa had a big beef. You have to factor that in, Trevor. No. You have to. No, you shouldn't. You if, shouldn't. If your room, if that's your man, if that's your roommate, and you're FaceTiming him on some not some just some regular stuff, some regular thing, roommate thing, shit. You're FaceTiming, so it's a call that's picked up that you know is going to be spoken out loud. Doesn't matter. I, I don't. Key. I don't think that should matter. It matters, and I think the issue with Molly is that it matters to Molly. It mattered so much to Molly that Issa was in the same space as um as Nathan. Yeah, yeah. That, and mean, it was a thing for her until she, you know, threw her ass in Andrew's face, and then she was the she was happy as a kid in a fucking candy store. Yeah, she was having a time. Uh, yeah. What do you think about that line? <laughs> <laughs> Just eat my ass. Just, just eat my ass, and she just sits on his face. Yeah, what do you think about that? That, that, <laughs> that was a wild lie. <laughs> you know she's a, allegedly a that, virgin. No, she is a virgin. Yes, yeah, she hasn't had sex yet in real life. Yvonne Orgy, like, she's never had sex before. She's waiting till marriage. How old is she? Uh, I want to say she's maybe like mid or late thirties. <laughs> Listen to each their own. I gotta know her therapist. I to each know, their own. The frustration has to be through the roof. Some people aren't. Some people are just fine. Nah. Are, are just fine After with 30, that. After 38 years, your body is craving something that it's never. You know what I'm saying? But shout out to her. Whatever she. Got I ahead. mean, people are brought up differently. Like I heard a thing where kids don't know about sex until they hear about it from adults. Kids don't know anything about being sexualized, or girls don't know anything about like wearing certain clothing. Guys don't know anything about girls until they hear it from adults. I don't think it's that simple. I don't think it's. I don't think it's. Just, I, I think that the human body, like the human body, has wants, needs. But desires. things are. But things are sexualized. Like breasts are sexualized. Like as 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 kids growing up, like hearing music, seeing music videos. I'm saying her body craving something. Ah, she, she may not be in. She that don't know space. what it is. She don't know what it is. Boy, she's in that space now because she's on TV and doing movies and and love scenes with people, so she knows. 
what she's that been is. So many times. On this but the, yeah, she's she's been fucked a lot <laughs> on Insecure. That's a weird acting is a weird thing. So for her as a person individually, like her her beliefs and her um and her patience may outweigh those desires, which is a thing. Which is a thing. Like to each their own. Uh, who does Lawrence call when he walks out the airport? You didn't see the 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 pre. You never see the pre. You never see like the preview coming up. <laughs> Is it the preview? It's right after the episode. Yeah, he calls Issa. Did he? Yeah, and in the in the preview for next week's episode, they meet up at a bar, and she's like, "Hey, so what did you want to talk to me about?" So that's what we got coming up next week. Yeah, I gotta start watching. You gotta start previews. watching the previews, that's, man. That's what? Yeah, I'm like, who could it be? Wait till the next Sunday. It's not Condola. I think Condola. That that shit is dead. What else in the episode really stood out to me? The the moment when Molly decided I'm gonna call my therapist and and like re up on this uh, like on these meetings. She and these said she's been struggling. She's been struggling. She has. We've seen. We've all seen it. Uh, so that I feel like that's a that's a big step for her. And like I said, like I'm listen. I'm team. I I love Andrew with this whole season. Like he's been so solid. Okay. Okay. He's been this like, is gonna like where you're going. Yeah, so he's far. been so solid. He's been so like his communication has been dope. Uh he's had he's had her back and held her accountable at the same time. So the so the times where like he's, hey Molly, you're fucking up, it doesn't hit that hit her that hard. Because he's right there. Because he's right there yeah. and because like he's had her back so um so frequently. As a boyfriend, mm-hmm. I think he's doing a tremendous job. Yes. And but like I don't know what it is. But there's something about their chemistry as actors that don't that I don't know if it's their chemistry as actors or their chemistry as characters, but something about their relationship does not seem like they are in sync. 